Question number two. What is the relation between ASD and ADHD, Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder? Many scientists specialize in ADHD are starting to study emotions and socialization in ADHD children. My own view is that children with ADHD know how to socialize, but they do it badly. And the social consequences can be rejection from their peers because they break things or they will get into trouble and may be isolated because of their behavior. Now, when we look at those with an autism spectrum disorder, we recognize that many of the components of autism occur in the frontal lobes. And the frontal lobes is also the site of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. So we would anticipate those with autism also have signs of ADHD. Now that can be impulsive. It can also be problems with maintaining attention, organizational skills, planning skills, time management. All these often occur in autism spectrum disorders. Now the question is, how do we deal with that? Now certainly we need to focus on strategies to improve attention and motivation, but also to be aware that those with autism spectrum disorders, as they move into secondary or high school, have what we call impaired executive functioning. Now that will affect their ability to write essays and understand and express complex thinking. Now the psychological effect on such individuals is that they may get into trouble or lose marks because of being inattentive and poor attention strategies. We would use the standard approach that we would use for someone with ADHD and that may include not only classroom modifications, but also the possibility of medication to see if it helps. However, those with ASD are very prone to the side effects of Ritalin or Dexamphetamine in terms of appetite, sleep and mood. So we often use much lower doses. So those strategies that we would use can be very helpful, but again, those with ADHD have problems of being impulsive. Those with autism do too, but their attention span for what they're motivated for, the special interest, can be the exact opposite. So if they're motivated, their attention is phenomenal. If they're not interested, they have poor attention. So we're looking at a range of explanations and strategies. When we look at the diagnostic pathway to an autism spectrum disorder, people know more about ADHD than ASD. And so the first thought of a parent, teacher, or pediatrician may be ADHD, which is there. But this doesn't explain the social profile, the language, the sensory sensitivity. And further investigation may prove that ADHD and ASD can coexist together. They are not mutually exclusive and they both need appropriate treatment.